चक्षुरुमृतमेंद्रा राधिकाए सदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताकूभ्य कृपा सिंधु आनंदलीलामयग्रहाय इमा दिव्य छवि सुंदराय तस्म महाप्रेमरस्प्रदा भगवते ब्रह्मने परमात्मने हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश राधाकांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा देवी कृष्णमयी प्रोक्ता राधिका पर देवता सर्वलक्ष्मीमस्ते चीकृष्ण चैतन्य पवनंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वन वो टाइम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 भजन ठाकुर नमो भक्ति विनोदाय सच्चिदानंद नाम ने गौर शक्ति स्वरूपाय रूपानुदान लगाए थे सो यस्टरडे वी हर्ड The process described by Shri Bhakti Thakur. The sadhaka should know the meaning of the mantra and remember the predominating deity of the mantra. That means the mantra devata and his own specific relationship with that deity. We heard yesterday on this topic. The second point, Shri Lakshmi Thakur is explaining here. Nyas. Nyas means the deity of the mantra is my protector. This conviction is called nyas. Again, the deity of the mantra is my protector. The full conviction, the conviction is sorry. This conviction is called nyas. So, as we see in the uh, understanding the limbs of sharnagati means surrenderness. There are six limbs. Anupulasya sankalpam. प्रातिकुल्यसिवर्जनमेंट 
in those six limbs of sharnagati one is rakshati iti vishwaso krishna the conviction krishna is only my protector mantra and the deity of mantra the mantra devta they are non different just like hari naam prabhu hari naam and hari naam prabhu is non different naam chintamani krishna ha chaitanya ras vigraha purna shuddha nitya mukta abhinatva naam 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 and Nami non-different. Similarly, the mantra and the devata of that mantra, they are non-different. So, Shri Lakshmi Thakur is explaining this conviction that the deity of the mantra is my protector. This is called nyas. And remember, I was telling days back. I don't know, maybe in Zoom class or somewhere in some congregation, that Shri Guru Dev, my Guru Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Goswami Maharaj, they never like this idea of wearing any nursing covers or any different stones for one's protection. By doing so. minimizing the glories of the mantra because that means there is no conviction that mantra is my protector that means there is a conviction that stones are more powerful than the mantra this is self explanatory stones or any other any other thing any kind of covetous is more powerful than the mantra so any attempt to that means we are minimizing the glories of mantra and this is one kind of disrespect but also this is uh, believing in that that mantra is my my protector this conviction This is called nyas. So Sri Lavakut who is giving us that inspiration to follow this process of nyas. That means full faith that deity of the mantra is my protector. You see how much this is, how important is this to follow in our life? Because troubles are always there, and who is our protector? This conviction, Rakshati iti vishwaso, that Krishna is only my protector. This conviction gives very good impression as a sadhaka that if there is any trouble, any calamity, Krishna is expecting that we should call him for protection, as in the case of Draupadi. when she was getting disrobed in the assembly she called out the names of krishna he govind rakho laj ab to jeevan hari he govind please protect me if dropti can call out the names of krishna for for her protection and if gajendra elephant who was drowning or was almost about to just end of his life he called out he called out the lord for the protection it shows their conviction and this is the term shila bhakti thakur is using nyas the conviction in one's ishta in one's worship of so shri ragunath das goswami in mana shiksha the very first verse what is explaining we 
all remember those mantra uh, shlokas guru goshte goshta laishu sujo bhuskur gare sa mantra sa namani braj nam dhand sharana sada namam hitvam kuru i'm not going to elaborate on that verse but she raghunath das goswami in the very first verse of mana shiksha mana shiksha means giving shiksha means instructions to one's own mind so in so humble mood shri raghunath das goswami is praying to his own mind showing us as a sadhaka oh brother you know, humbly praying oh my mind oh my brother believe in the words of guru guru goshte goshta laishu have faith in your guru and in the associates of guru the brahmins of the dham and then so mantra so namani have faith and conviction in the mantras which gurudev has given to you because this mantras are not fabricated by him this mantra those mantras descend from the spiritual world and is from the shastras from the scriptures so much significance of this point conviction in the mantras we lack in that and that's why we are we can't say that we have faith in krishna no we have not even shraddha so absolute and relative from both perspective yes we have shraddha that's why we are worshiping krishna but if he comes to this point shraddha shabde vishwas kahe sur dhir nishchay krishna bhakti kaile sarv karm kritya hai what is the definition definition of shraddha so did nishchay not did but so did firm conviction that by performing krishna bhakti i have achieved all other rituals there is no need to perform any other dharma or any other rituals just by performing krishna bhakti I have accomplished, or I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on the process of accomplishing everything. Firm conviction. This is the definition of shraddha, and bhakti starts from this very first step. Shraddha, sadhu, sangha, bhajan, kriya. So, in regular circumstances, yes, I have shraddha, but in irregular circumstances some abnormalities then test the test am i on the stage of shraddha faith am i calling krishna for my help or i'm calling oh no hanuman or shiva oh no kali they can help us ganesha he can remove all obstacles the nursing bhagwan cannot do this sarv vigra vinashan shri nursing bhagwan ki je we have to approach the lord for protection if there is and this is a question been raised by vishnu chakur thakur if a sadhaka is going through some is some trouble the point of death comes and at the sadhaka approaching krishna for protection that prayers of a sadhaka seeking protection from the lord will that dilute his bhakti because one is not supposed to ask anything from krishna and submissive to all circumstances whatever comes maro bhi rakho bhi jo ichha to mar nitya daspati tu adhikar bhakti thakur is saying if you want to kill me or if you want to save me that's your ichha is your desire because i am your nitya das i am your eternal servant whatever you feel like doing so vishnu chakur thakur raising this question if there is something 
very important, urgent, some problem, the point of uh, uh, life and death. Because Sadhaka is asking, seeking protection from Lord, please come and help me. In that asking, diluted his bhakti or her bhakti, he's saying no. The point is abnormal circumstance. And he gave example of Draupadi. When she called out the names of Krishna for her protection, there was not any kind of delusion in her bhakti, in her love for Krishna. Because that was unusual circumstances. But if we keep on asking every day, then definitely it's going to hamper our bhakti. Definitely. These are some very important points we need to know in our daily practices because we all go through some turbulence in our journey, in day to day life. Yes. So, in something very unusual, if someone calls out the name of Krishna, then there is the bhakti never happens. There. But asking every day for something or the other. Definitely going to happen. That means I'm not on the stage of Shraddha. So, one question was being asked. I think Shla Prabhupada. I'm pretty sure, yes. Anyway, that's going to be a controversial source. So, Firkavi. So, Shraddha Shabde Vishwas Kohe Sudhira Nishchay. That's a definition of Shraddha, which is the first step of Bhakti. If you all have Madhure Kadamani, must read that book. Must, must, and must. Madhure Kadamani is like a mirror. You should see yourself how beautiful I look like in my Bhakti and on what stage. And by read, reading that, all pride. All pride got destroyed. I was thinking I'm on a very good platform. But by reading Madhuri Kadamani by Vishnu Jakut Hakur, oh no, I'm still struggling with my faith. I'm still struggling with my faith. Okay. So the point here is the conviction. Shri Bhakti Hakur saying that deity of the mantra is my protector. This conviction is called Nyas. In a more higher level, as shown by Srila Vishnu Chakuthaku, in his own life, when he was not able to understand the meaning of the mantra, he thought of giving up her, his life. He was chanting Kam Gaitri Mantra, which we get from our Guru. Dev. So he read from Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami that there are 24 and a half moons present in the transcendental body of Krishna. That's something Sanskrit grammar. While meditating on that meaning of the mantra, he was only able to find out 24 moons. But where is that half moon? It was a dilemma for him. So he decided, I'm chanting this mantra, but if I don't know the meaning of the mantra, what is the use of my life? And I'm not able to understand where is that half moon. So what he decided, I should jump into Radha Kund to give up my life. That's extreme. You see how much connectivity with that mantra. There is no point of comparison. Actually, no point of comparison comparing ourselves with the Acharyas and our associates of Mahaprabhu. But still, if we compare our thoughts as compared to Vishnu Jagu Thakur, we 
don't care. Even if we are chanting nicely, meditating on the mantra, for that 10-15 minutes, when we are chanting this mantra given by our Gurudev, there's a respect to Gurudev, there's a respect to the mantra and the mantra devata. But if we are not focusing on the mantra, what to speak of the understanding the meaning of the mantra, while chanting our Gayatri, if we are not focusing on that mantra, there's a disrespect to Gurudev, disrespect to the mantra and the mantra devata. So, abundance of aparads, abundance of aparads, we commit every day, knowingly, unknowingly. So, we are not knowingly doing this aparad, friends. See, Mantra Devta, all glories to Mantra Devta, but when I am chanting Mantra Devta, I am not focusing on that Mantra Devta, that's disregard. That's called knowingly and unknowingly. And throughout our day, in all our practices, whatever it is, even offering bhoga and taking care of deities and etc., there's always you know, some offenses involved. And because of that, we are not developing taste in Harinam. Shri Bhakti Thakur is saying, Tabe jano aparad ache prachur. If I am not developing taste in my Harinam, I have to understand I have prachur means abundance of offenses. When tears are not flowing from my eyes while chanting Harinam, when tears, if tears not flowing and hair is not standing on end when I am chanting the mantra, which can melt even very hard heart. My heart, my heart is so hard more than a stone because even stone get melt in the ingiraj govardhan krishna playing flute even stones govardhan shila get melt so my heart is so hard more than a stone it's not melting when i chant the mantra because tabe jano aparad achi prachu no this for certain that there is abundance of offenses. So then what to do? We know this, what to do then? That's why when we sing those Ashtakams, Lalita Ashtakam, Vishaka Ashtakam, Jamnaji Ashtakam, Viraj Ashtakam, when we do this in our daily practices, we have to take out some time to do this. And when we chant, more or less whatever it is, but with very good quality, then this is the best way to take care of or to destroy our offenses. As we have Nam Aparad, we have Dham Aparad, Seva Aparad, Shivigra Aparad, means offenses to our deities, etc. All other offenses can very e easily eradicate by chanting Harina. But then, how about the offenses towards Harina? The ten offenses towards Holy Name. What is the remedy? Chanting is the only remedy to get rid of offenses towards Harina. So much burden we are carrying every day. Can you imagine? Isn't it disrespect? You make a very good garland for me or you prepare a very nice prasad for me and I just throw away. I don't want to eat. How do you feel? Disrespect. So similarly, Gurudev, with so much love and compassion and affection, he gave those mantras to us. And if we are not giving attention while we chant, which is 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening, even that much if we can't do, there's a disrespect to Gurudev. 
and the mantra devata. So Vishwa Chakrathakur, he was, he already planned that I'm going to uh, give up my life by diving into Radha Kund, throwing myself to Radha Kund. But then Radharani appeared to Sri Vishnu Chakrathakur. And she addressed, with so much love, she addressed Vishnu Chakrathakur by the word Hari Vallava. Hey Hari Vallava. What Kaviraj, means Krishna's Kaviraj has written, is un completely right. It's 100% right. And then she explaining, she explained, where are those 24 and half moons in the body of Krishna? 10 moons, 10 toenails, 10 moons, another 10 moons, fingernails, 20. The beautiful face of Krishna, 21. The two cheeks of Krishna, 22, 23. And the tilak. Krishna always put tilak. Radharani always tilak. In Brajmandal Parikrama, we go to this place, Anjana Shila, to a darshan at Khadirvan. Krishna played food, Radharani came immediately running because they can't hold themselves. They just come run towards the direction where the suit song is coming from. And they're giving up all other household activities. Parveshyam tam hitva payantam shishu payanam shushyam tu patim satim asnashta pasya bhojanam limpatya parimaja Anjana Kastan Lochane. They're putting cow down in the courtyard. They're giving up that. They're serving husbands. They gave their that duty. They're taking care of their children. They gave up those duties and all other duties towards the body, towards society, towards our family. Everything. So Radharani came without Tilak. The very first question Krishna asked, where is your Tilak? Where is your tilak? And she glanced like a sidelong glance, like shooting arrows to Krishna. Is my fault? Is your fault? You know what happens to us when you play flute and we cannot? We cannot wait for a second. You just, with that flute song, you're taking, stealing away. The jewel which is in our heart, the wealth which is keeping in our heart. So, of course, we have to run to get our wealth back. Krishna smiled because he has no answer. If Radharani is asking any question, he has no answer. Radharani is always manifesting man, selfie move. Hetu, ahetu, sometimes with cause, sometimes without cause. Hetu ahetu yuna man uchate. Ahir eva gati sobha putila bhavet. Those Goswami is writing, uh, mentioned in Pujul Nimman. Sometimes with cause, sometimes without cause. Krishna wants to imitate Radharani. That always I have to pacify her. Let me try once. I'll do some man and see how Radharani pacifies me. <laughs> So the meeting was set where at Sanket, the midway of Barsana and Nandagam. Radharani came with all Shingar, and Krishna is just trying to artificial. There is no cause, but just trying to pose that I am in Man, I am in sulky mood. So he just decided to. Radharani came, O oh, Sundar. What happened? Oh, Pyare. Oh, my beloved. Just by addressing Krishna with these two, three sweet words, Krishna cannot hold his mind. <laughs> he melted. 
so his his failure in this art hmm. gurudev said ladies they are very expert in this art they know how to <laughs> to make this and radha is very expert and krishna feel pleasure in pacifying radha these pastimes are present in the mantra when we chanting cling seed the beach of the mantra what is cling it's very intimate it's difficult to say krishna radha rani and the amorious pastimes of radha and krishna so when we chanting cling that's the seed means everything is present in that seed the entire past times are present in that seed and that's why we pray one day the mantra devata will please to us and reveal its soul its form but if we are neglecting that mantra devata how is mantra devata going to help us with that so chanting mantra means serving the mantra devata the predominant deity of that mantra this is called serving chanting mantra means serving the mantra devata the deity of mantra <clears throat> so radharani appeared and she is describing tilak i was coming to that point sorry so many things i spoke spoke in between krishna he had one shila there and he rubbed that shila and black kajal kajal appeared from that shila and krishna put kajal in the eyes of radharani and also on tilak seeing that that her uh, her shingar shingar uh, makeup her makeup is incomplete so krishna had to put she was she just put in one eye she forgot to put another eye so krishna completed that makeup and also tila so 24th moon is the tila of krishna now what is that half moon shri radha rani she revealed that the half moon is the dot under that tila krishna has one dot under the tila that's the half moon so oh hari vallabh means vishwa chakur thakur whatever you read written by krishnadas kaviraj is is fully correct no doubt at all there are 24 and a half moons so give up this idea of jumping into radha rani radha rani saved the life of vishnu chakur thakur so that means so much significance of the understanding of the meaning of the mantra at least basics and as i said yesterday gurudev always used to say by chanting mantra every day sincerely one day the mantra devta will reveal its sarup to us and we see shri narottam thakur singing this bhajan which uh, taruni gopi just sang shirupa manjari pada sei mora sampada sei mora bhaja na pujana in that song sei mantra sei japa sei japa sei japa sei tapa sei mora mantra japa and they sing sei mora vedara dharam mantra japa what is that mantra shirupa manjari pada sei mora sampada my only wealth is and i want to get that wealth the wealth is the lotus feet attaining the service menial service the lotus feet of shirupa manjari sei mantra sei japa sei tapa sei mora mantra japa 
chanting the mantra of Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari is my everything. That's only my wealth. Everything, my japa, my tapa, everything is Shri Rupa Manjari. So what Narottam Thakur, he wrote this bhajan, this shows perfection of body of Vaishnavas. Although Radha Dasyam is the perfection, but the Radha Dasyam can only be achieved through surrendering to the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Manjari, means Sri Rupa Goswami. By crossing Rupa Manjari or neglecting Rupa Goswami, forget about this. Not possible. Sri Rupa Manjari Pada. Everything, my everything is Sri Rupa Manjari. My Vrata, my Tapa, my Mantra Japa, everything. Anukula Habe Vidi, Sepade Habe Sidi. Chiradina Tapita Jivan. Haha Rupa Karodaya, Deho More Pada Chaya. Narottam Lainu Shara. Anukula habe vidi, say pade hoi besidi. Oh, Anukula habe vidi. May that will of providence get favorable for me. And say pade hoi besidi. May I get the perfection at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Mandari. Imagine what he's mentioning. And this is perfection not only coming out from Shri Narottam Thakur, but all of our acharyas. If you read Chaitanya Chaitamit at the end of every chapter, Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami is writing at the end of every chapter. Rupa Raghunath Pade Jar Ash Chaitanya Chaitamit Kahe Krishna Das. Sri Kaviraj Goswami is saying, Rupa Raghunath Pade Jar Ash. My only and only hope, and I want perfection. At the lotus feet of Rupa Raghunath. Everyone desired and instructed us to get this perfection. This is our mantra. This is our mantra. So for Narottam Thakur, that's in a different world. Sri Narottam Thakur, his mantra japa is to attain the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari. What is that meaning? Attaining lotus feet, what? what? What I will do with the lotus feet if I get this today? Krishna, your lotus feet, Radharani, Mahaprabhu, your lotus feet, or Gurudev, what to do with that lotus feet? Massaging. What is that meaning? Meaning is services. Seva Vritti. And this is what Gurudev impart in the heart of disciple, in the jivas, the Seva Vritti, the tendency to serve. As according to const Jiva's constitution, Krishna Premi is already there. Means Krishna Dasatva. The service of Krishna is already present in seed form. Jeeva Swarup hai Krishna Nitya Das. That's already there. Then when we're getting we're receiving mantras from Guru Dev, then what is putting in our heart? That's already there. You know? Because the question was raised to Srila Guru Dev. Gurudev, you saying, Jiva Sarup hai Krishnera Nitya Das. The Sarup of Jiva is eternal servitor of Krishna. That's already there. But then, when you give us mantra, what are you giving to us then? Srila Gurudev replied, Seva Vritti, the tendency of services. To sprout that seed. Seed is there. Okay, I put seed in the ground, but I need the gardener, or I myself become a gardener to look after that seed. 
we need sunlight we need water we need favorable all soil etc for the seed so all these supplies are given by shila gurudev this is called giving mantras we have natural naturally we have no inclination for that service but the seed is there but the seva vritti the tendency of service given by gurudev that's why i started this lecture saying not giving attention to the mantra while we chant that's a disrespect to gurudev because he is supplying this and we are rejecting that supply we chanting out of formality that we need to do this every morning and evening but not lovingly and then ye yathamam pravadante tam sate bajam me ho you worship in whatever mood or proportion i respect you accordingly there's a promise of krishna bhagavad gita that's why heart is not melting that's why no realization of the uh, no realization of the deity of mantra mantra deity what shila bhakti thakur is see how shila bhakti thakur is encouraging us not only giving information but so much words of encouragement this conviction is called nyas it is true that success can be attained by uttering the mantra one time only He is saying this is true. The success success can be attained by uttering the mantra one time only. Success to those who really want to get to succeed in this. But if there is no desire or longing or inclination to get success in this area in this domain, then for them this is simply. Robert used to say. कान में फू मारना, to receive some blowing of air from गुरुदेव, because if I speak something in your ears, that means I'm giving mantra. <laughs> But while whispering or speaking something is just some blowing air in the ear of a disciple. It's just air and it goes in ear. For those who are sincere candidate. sadakas by it is true that success can be attained by those who really want to get success and and starving for that success by uttering the mantra one time only nonetheless the mantra is uttered 10 or 108 times for the pleasure of the mantra devata this is called nyas another meaning shila bhakti thakur another meaning of nyas is that perfection success can be attained by chanting one time only mantra only one time still we utter this 10 times so they told us 10 in the morning 10 in the noon 10 in the evening why we doing this for the pleasure of the mantra devta one time one devotee asked question i was in room vishala gurudev also from my guru maharaj shri bhakti prabhu puri was from maharaj some devotees get very much enthusiastic hearing the glories of gopal mantra if they read vir bhagavatam ritam how gopumar chanted and he crossed all those layers and entered into past times of krishna so gurudev i want to chant this mantra on beats five times six times because you described this is very powerful mantra gurudev said no only 10 10 10 30 times a day if you have a desire to chant more then chant maha mantra because that's maha mantra and this is mantra when we add maha to the word means it's a great mantra is superior than the other mantras then why we need those mantras if maha mantra is everything and ultimate we need those mantras to understand 
the glories of Mahamudra as a supportive to Mahamudra and to get samskar done, purification done. Because one Shuddha Naam, one pure name, what is meaning of pure? Pure name. Name is always pure. Okay, if we say cow's pure milk, and if you say pure cow's milk, <laughs> cow is pure, <laughs> the milk has to be pure. So one should the name, pure name, name is always pure, name is never get contaminated. We need purity to chant that. So that pure means pure chanting the name with a pure consciousness. That's Shuddha Naam. Naam is always pure. Naam never get contaminated. But chanting with impurities, contaminations, and chanting with pure consciousness. One Hari Naam, just one, Hare Krishna, with that pure consciousness is enough. To get entrance into that realm of service in Bodhavuna, that one is enough. Then we should wait for that time when my consciousness gets pure and just relax. No need to chant, then this it will happen by itself. All other practices of every day, practices for life and life and lives are included and inclusive in that one month one name chanting uttering one name with pure consciousness okay let's see what one example once upon a time guru one guru told his disciple hey my son take this axe and cut the tree he said yes guru and he took his axe and he hit on the tree tree was so fat and just one hit means just one single mark that's all and he came back very morose Gurudev I tried my best but there was only one mark Gurudev said keep on hitting Guru said keep on hitting on the same mark and every day he was hitting that every day every day Every day, the mark was getting, the impression was getting more deep, 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 deep. And this, let's say, after three months, one hit and tree fell. Gurudev, I accomplished. Just with one hit, I cut off the tree. What is the meaning one hit? What he's telling is truth, is correct. This word. Uh, with one hit, he cut that he, he cut that tree with one hit. But all those hits are inclusive and present in that one hit. Understand? All those hits, starting day one, in hundred day the tree fell on the ground. What he's telling is true with one hit, but he is not understanding all other hits are also present in that. Similarly, our services to Gurudev, to our Gurudev, our services to our Parampara, our any kind of services to Vaishnavas are all getting including, included in that one Nam which will come in one lifetime, in any lifetime. That now with pure consciousness. So all our services and chanting of mantras, etc., they are purifying us, bringing us to that level of pure consciousness. Reading philosophy, hearing philosophy, serving sadhus, everything is there. Inclusive in that one Hari So no need to chant those mantras more than what is recommended by Shri Gurudev. So the meaning of what we heard today, the meaning of Nyas is 
two meanings. First is we should learn this, right? The deity of the mantra is my protector. This conviction is called nyas. And then other is, it is true that success can be attained by uttering the mantra one time only. Nonetheless, the mantra is uttered ten or sometimes hundred eight times for the pleasure of mantra devta. This is also called yeah. so chanting mantra ten times and conviction mantra is my protector. Both are termed as means. Gaur Bhagavan Hari Hari 